Hi, beautiful people. How y'all doing? I know it's been way too long since I have posted a video. I realize that and I am so sorry. I repent. I have to make my confession to you this day that I, although I have been creating a few videos and attempting to post them, things kept going wrong and I know that's no excuse but for me I was making it an excuse because I was viewing and the Holy Spirit had to convict me of this the spirit of excellence in a worldly sense versus God's way okay and what I mean by that is for the past couple of years I've been posting videos um, periodically trying to be consistent in posting them last year the Lord laid out the whole entire year therefore it was easier for me to you know create a video a week because he laid it all out for me this year he's making it a little more not challenging but he wants me to press into him um, and be led by his spirit and his unctioning um, when he wants me to post something he wants me to do it as he leads me and guides me to do it um, I know he wants me to be consistent as well I I prayed and I asked God if I should purchase course courses YouTube courses to you know help me to have better quality videos they're they're edited and they just look nicer i got the okay with that but where i was messing up is i have a perfectionist type of personality without jesus helping me through that and that perfectionism i was linking with excellence in a biblical sense okay and that's where I was getting off track I know that God wants us to do things in decency and in order he wants us to do our best he wants us to improve you know in skills and so I'm not saying any of that okay when I share with you what he's been imparting to me for those of you who have struggled with being a perfectionist and trying to do things just right he may have had to you know get your attention in that area as well and that's what he's having to do for me helping me to realize that he is the only perfect one here and of course he wants us to improve but there may be times where a video may not look as good as the last video but that's okay because he's unctioning me to post a video or to say something it needs to be said when he wants me to say it and um even if it's not edited you know even if there's something there you know that doesn't look right or whatever that's irrelevant to <laughs> the message at hand so I apologize for not posting as I should because I would upload them I would upload the videos and once I uploaded them onto YouTube something would be missing you know that I felt was important like there would just be a portion of it gone or just be black you know what I'm saying so I'm like I can't publicize this video so I would hold back trying to figure out because I'm not a techie type of person so it takes me a lot longer to even do you know simple editing that most people would just be easy for them to do I know I'm smart I'm not saying that I'm not but we know our weaknesses and we know our strengths so I wanted to apologize for that but moving forward I will be posting more frequently it may not be every week but it's not gonna be like every two months like this this is not not this is Lord forgive me that's all I can say um, but the videos may not look like better and better and better every time I post them I may it may look like I'm backtracking a little bit and then moving forward here and there so um, please just bear with me in that I I am here to 
help those of you believers, and even if you're not a believer, those of you who desire to put your trust in the Lord Jesus, I am here to help you make him bigger. Okay, I know for myself, it's been so hard my whole entire life because of distractions, because of the cares of this world, because of things that I face and even carrying the weight of other people's problems on my shoulders. That has made me look at God in a smaller view versus making him bigger, which in turn has created more stress. Okay, so I am here as a mouthpiece to help you make God bigger than your stress on a day-to-day -day basis so that you can find your healing and rest in all areas of your life, okay? Whatever it is that you are struggling with, God desires to meet you in that place and to calm your soul down, to calm you down, to slow you down enough so that you can be still, and know that God is God, which means he is bigger, okay? So for those of you who are struggling with perfectionism, that is very stressful, okay? That is not how God wants us to be. Let me explain a little more to you. Um, the spirit of excellence, there's a scripture derived um, from Daniel chapter 6, verse three, verses 3 through 4, and it says, then this Daniel distinguished himself above the governors and the satraps. I'm probably saying that wrong. Because an excellent spirit was in him and the king gave thought to setting him over the whole realm. So the governors and satraps sought to find some charge against Daniel concerning the kingdom. But they could not find no charge or fault because he was faithful nor was there any error or fault found in him. Daniel was among great people because they recognized a spirit of excellence in him. I want people to recognize a spirit of excellence inside of me. So, there is a direct correlation between the spirit of excellence and being faithful, okay? And also... I want to share some more um, understanding, better understanding of excellence. Because I know that we as believers, we want to be excellent in what we do. We don't want to just throw anything out there. You know what I'm saying? But we need to understand there are uh, there's a worldly view of excellence and there's a godly view. So, you know, with me purchasing these courses, I do want to be better in what I'm doing, okay? But I still have to look at, you know, me being better in what I'm doing in the skill. I have to view it through the biblical understanding of excellence versus the worldly view of excellence okay so the greek idea of excellence was man-centered excellence meant the perfecting of oneself based on human ability and achievement this idea is the essence of modern excellence self-originated and man-centered biblical excellence points to god himself as a source and object of excellence. Therefore, the more common way to describe excellence is by the Greek term telos. Telos or telos describes the end or purpose of something. God has made us for a purpose and to move toward this telos is to move toward excellence. Now, I'm getting this information from this gentleman by the name of Dr. Grant C. Richeson, but I loved how he put these um, ideas together of the carnal view of excellence versus the biblical view of excellence. Okay, so when we are looking at excellence through a biblical mindset, there 
is always going to be a value there. Excellence involves value and it requires standards, okay, godly standards. So Christian standards of excellence is nothing less than the character of God, okay? So God is developing his character within us. When we receive him into our heart, we're already made new okay spiritually but a sanctification process takes place and that is where you know character building comes into play and so that's what we're doing you know when we are when god is placing something on our hearts to do in the workplace you know um it, it he wants us to carry that out okay he wants us to be faithful in that that's a part of being excellent in what we're doing okay that's building godly character within us being obedient have an obedient heart okay so there's three great ambitions that we should have um, as we pursue excellence in our walk with Christ okay these three are to please God to praise God and to proclaim God okay we as believers yes he's created us to enjoy our life here he created us to have family you know to um, have um, a career that we enjoy you know to um, do things in this life that are you know fun and enjoyable but ultimately we are also here to <laughs> please God, to praise God, and to proclaim God, okay? So that in itself is what the spirit of excellence entails. So me coming back to the idea of why it was it's taking me so long to post videos is because they're not edited properly and for me I was looking at that as being less than excellent okay so I was holding back on posting them so uh, my girlfriend and I um, she had shared with me she's like so you know just talking about when we're before the throne you know is God gonna ask you know well why didn't you get that house or why didn't you get that nice car you know and I was thinking about that I'm like yeah that is just so ridiculous so in my mind I was thinking oh yeah God's gonna ask me why didn't you edit those videos you know what I'm saying that I wanted you to post and not that I'm not gonna edit my videos I'm not saying that but I was making the process bigger than the proclamation I was getting the message at hand needs to come out because people that are connected to me are hurting those that I'm connected to I need you you know what I'm saying but if I'm not showing up you know stuttering and all not it no edited video you know if I'm not showing up then the message that I believe God is placing on my heart is not getting out when it's supposed to get out you know what i'm saying and it was so funny i actually was um, about to post um a video on august the first it was this video but i had to create it again today because there was like a lot of static in the voice so i was like okay lord you know you're telling me you want me just to post these videos but this one has all this static on here you know what I'm saying so it was like I knew I needed to create it again so I'm praying that this one doesn't have all this static but I know that the enemy also is going to come and try to prevent you know us from moving forward and there's just going to be technical issues no matter what how you look at it there's just going to be technical issues that you have to push through but I just wanted to share this with you um, for those of, that, of you that may be struggling as I have with the spirit of excellence and wanting to do, you know, your best um, as a believer and, and just wanting to please God. It doesn't have a lot to do with your performance. It has more to do with your obedience and 
how faithful you are <laughs> in the process, okay, of posting or of, you know, calling, you know, that loved one or visiting, you know, the hospital or whatever it is that God has placed on your heart as a part of the ministry that he wants you to minister to those, you know, around you. We have to, the spirit of excellence is connected with faith, being faithful and being obedient. That is pleasing to God. Okay. Um, not being perfect. We will never be perfect. It's not that he doesn't want us to get better and do better, but <laughs> that should not be the holdup in showing up. Okay, so I hope something here made sense to you. <laughs> you will be seeing more of me, whether my videos look better or worse. We will determine that as we go, but the message at hand, I know God wants me to share certain things um, because there's a lot of us who are stressed out to the max, and I want to be here as a light to help you through that because I know what that feels like okay to feel stressed and anxious and like okay God are you here I need you you know moving so fast learning how to slow down learning how to breathe I want to be that message for you I want God to use me in that place and I feel that he is so I love you I pray that you have a wonderful rest of your week and you'll be seeing me soon I love you bye-bye